Hi everyone, I have a question here. People have been asking me, inboxing me, and they have been asking me how to calculate the circumference of a small circle under the topic of F geometry. And uh, I just decided that I kind of make a short, quick video to just quickly help someone understand this. It's pretty much a simple concept uh, that you can actually use. Now before that I just want to make this clear so that uh, we can get the whole concept. That way it will be much easier and much um, uh, useful yeah, for everyone who might have the same challenge. Um, mostly they kind of ask this same question in two ways. Okay, Now about the circumference, uh, they can ask you to say uh, let me just get this pamphlet here just show you something so like here they can ask you uh, you can uh, let's focus on uh, question B you can see B saying show that the circumference of a circle of latitude X degree on the earth is 21,600 okay now that's one way they can ask you how to calculate the circumference under the, uh, the same topic earth geometry or they can ask you to calculate the circumference of a small circle okay now what happens if they asked you to calculate um, uh, to show the circumference of a circle uh, of latitude x degree on the earth uh, to be 21,600 okay uh, in, in my class, I explained this with a very simple concept. Let me just get that mic clear. Okay, so um, what we can just do is we want to show that circumference is equal to 21,600 nautical miles. Okay, so what we can do is uh, we know that one minute uh, is in the, to the ratio uh, or yeah, to the ratio of one nautical miles is equal to we can say 360 degrees to the ratio uh, of circumference so we know we can progress by saying that one minute is out of 60 minutes which makes an hour to the ratio one nautical miles is equal to 360 degrees okay 360 degrees to the ratio circumference. Now, we know that this expression here, okay, this expression here can also be denoted or represented as 1 over 60 over 1, okay, which is equal to, this can also be expressed as 360 degrees over C, which is standing for circumference. Okay, now if I was to hide out this one on top there, we're gonna have uh, something like this. Let me just come over here. We're gonna have 60 over 1, which we can agree that this can also just be expressed as 60 because 60 divided by 1 is 60. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna express this fraction here, I'm going to simplify it. So I'm going to have 1 over 60, the one who got into 60, is equal to 360 degrees over circumference, okay? Then I can cross multiply because the idea is to get my circumference, or rather show my circumference to be equal to uh, 21,600 nautical miles. So uh, C multiplied by 1, it's C. Okay, is equal to um, 60 multiplied by 360 degrees. So C as circumference is equal to 21,600 nautical miles. Okay, that can be proven if you punch that on a calculator, I think you can get the same. So on the calculator, let me just switch that on. On my calculator, I'm going to punch 60 by 360 degrees, which is giving me 21,600 
600. So that is how you can show them if you've been asked to um, to show the circumference uh, of a circle of latitude x degrees to be 21,600. Now, the other way you can be asked to calculate circumference is actually in this way. Okay? So what I've done is I have sampled a question from mathematics paper 2 uh, on the 1st November 2011. Uh, this is uh, should be internal examination, not GCE paper, but for the internal uh, candidates. So um, on this uh, sample, the question, uh, we were given instructions to take pi uh, to be 3.142, so you can see that pi is 3.142, and radius to be 34, uh, 37 nautical miles, or rather say 3,437 nautical miles. Okay, now the question is to calculate the circumference of a circle of 70 degrees north. The first thing I want you to do is understand when they give you that figure, 70 degrees north. 70 degrees north. So I know that since it's north, I know on my diagram or in my mind, I know that is a latitude. Okay. So 70 degrees north latitude, meaning that this particular latitude at 70 degrees was heading on the north. So I tried to draw the diagram just to show you. Uh, it's a bit rough, but it's a sample of the actual diagram that was in the paper. So I quickly draw uh, the diagram. So you can see that point P and Q are lying on the same latitude which is 70 degrees heading to the north. So now the question is to calculate the circumference of that particular circle of latitude 70 degrees. Okay, so this tells you that you are calculating the parallel latitude. So if you were asked to find the circumference of a circle, the circumference, let me just bring it here. The circumference of a circle, the circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Not so. That will be the formula, 2 pi r. Now, what I'm going to do is to show you that um, circumference in F geometry, on the same arrow here, you got to be careful because the same arrow here is representing um, two things. We have... In F geometry, we usually use a capital R and a small R. So when we use a capital R, we are trying to say that the radius is coming from the greater circle formed by the zero degrees, the equator, or the circles along the longitudes. Okay, so in this case, we can see that we're calculating a parallel latitude, 70 degrees north, meaning that the radius that it has is denoted with a small letter r. So in the formula that we're supposed to use to calculate the circumference, we'll say circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Okay, now let me remind you how to get uh, r. Remember, r is representing um, the radius for this circle formed by this latitude 70 degrees. How do we get radius? So quickly, the formula to get in radius is radius is equal to R cos theta. So in other words, what we're saying is that R is exactly equivalent or equal to this. So this makes more sense such that in my formula, I can now say circumference is equal to 2 pi, the R can be replaced, okay, because we are saying that R, okay, R is equivalent to that. So meaning that my R here can be, uh, can be replaced by its equivalent, cos theta, okay, where the theta here is representing the degree of a latitude, okay, so I can proceed by calculating circumference 
of latitude 70 degrees so i'm gonna say circumference is equal to 2 multiplied by pi has been given as what remember we have been given pi as 3.142 so um, pi is 3.142 by okay radius has been given in nautical miles as 3437 so it's 3437 okay let me just push that up quickly by okay now cos cos okay um theta which is the degree of the latitude 70 degrees so i'm gonna say cos 70 degrees now remember in the first quadrant 70 degrees is falling in the first quadrant meaning that if i was to punch this uh, in the first quadrant it's going to give me a positive why am i saying so because in the first quadrant all the many uh, trigonometric ratios turns out to be positive if you remember that if you didn't watch my other video about the quadrants the four quadrants you can just um, uh, check out the video okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to punch the whole this whole of that on my calculator okay so i'm gonna punch okay so i'm just gonna try to make my point here by starting to punch the course of it so that you see that it will give us a positive answer so i'm gonna say course 70 degrees it's giving me a positive 0 0.34 whatever that number is okay <laughs> okay so what i'm gonna do is the number that i've just found here i'm gonna punch um let me just do that to get the whole picture there i'm gonna punch uh everything in other words i'm not playing this by everything so by two by three okay three point one four two by three thousand four hundred thirty seven and to come out so that's giving me exactly uh it's not really an exact figure but i'm getting a seven well, let me see that three eight six point nine. So meaning I can do is say circumference is equal to seven thousand four hundred by rounding off to the nearest kilometer nautical miles. That um, is how you can easily calculate for the circumference of any small circle of latitude. Or that's how you can calculate um, the circumference of any parallel latitude so I hope guys you enjoyed uh, the video and I hope you've learned something I hope from now on you are no longer going to face any challenge when calculating uh, uh, circumference of a small circle of uh, latitude thanks guys and see you next time